Let's look at lesson number three. Let's set it up as we did in lesson number two. Since it says four X's, we're going to place four blue pawns onto the balance scale. Then it says to add a two, so we'll place a cube with the number two. On the right side, it says three X's, so we will place three blue pawns. And then it says plus nine, we will place a cube with the number nine. Now this equal sign means that both sides have the same value. So we now will be learning a new concept, and that concept is this. If we take away this uh, one pawn from each side, the system will remain balanced because I have removed the same weight from each side. I hope you agree with that. And now we can do that again. I can remove another pawn from each side, and it maintains balance. Now, if you want, you can also remove them by going upward, way up and releasing them. That will do. Now, notice that I have a 9 value here, a, pawn, uh, a cube with a weight of 2, and a pawn here. This means that the pawn must be worth 7. So let me select 7, click Done. Now, to do the check, I have to reset the original problem. So I need my 4x's plus 2. I need 3x's plus 9. And if each x is 7, let's see... If the, prob if the answer is correct, I have 7, 14, 21, 28, and 2 is 30. So on this side, I'm going to select the number 30. And on this side, I have 7, 14, 21. 21 and 9 is 30. So both sides have a value of 30. So if I click Done, I see that the answer is correct. So, in lesson number three, what you need to do is this. First, set up the original physical setup like you did previously, and then use the concept of legal moves to simplify the problem by removing pawns from each side. Once you have the value for x, remember to do the check, you must go back to the original physical setup one more time. For x plus 2, equal to 3x's plus. Right, please go on to lesson number 3.